Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about snare synthesis. Crab Tendo. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. What we have in front of us is Electra X2 or Electra X if you haven't upgraded to Electra X2 uh, or Electra 2. And they're pretty much multi-tambered, multi-layered uh, soft synths that allow you to do many things, you know. Uh, but, you know, in particular, we're going to see how good this works with uh, with snare synthesis, like doing a snare or making creating a snare from scratch. Uh, <clears throat> basic things that you need to know is that you have to have a sine, sine wave and a noise, a, a noise. So, you know, and then you also have to make sure that you have short decay, no release, but in this, you know, release isn't all that big of a deal. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and initialize and we're going to start from scratch. I have a, I have like your regular drum lineup right now so first thing I'm again first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take down the sustain so we have a short now from there we're just gonna go ahead and select a sign saw but you're gonna try out the wavetable sign saw and see how that works See how, how pure the sound is. It's just the decay because it decays. Then we're going to push up the volume a little bit too. So it matches the kick. Next, we're going to pick out a noise oscillator uh, quite frankly you know this has some pretty good noise oscillator set up all together in Electra X or Electra 2 and then we're going to turn on turn on the second oscillator You can play with the mix or the the overall volume of the of the noise, so you get a good mix or two. So we have basic the basic body of your your typical synthesized snare in like electronic music or hip hop or of that nature. TR eight hundred eight. The next step, we're gonna just step it up a little bit. And another important feature is adding filters when you're building your snare. So we're gonna do that. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select a low pass, 12, uh, 12 decibel low pass. Another cool feature about this particular VST that I, that I like over other VSTs is the fact that you can apply extra saturation in the drive. Like you can, you know, dictate how you want to distort uh, your distortion be or your reshaping of the snare or the waveform. So we're gonna just check shaper. We're gonna check that out. Then we're gonna go. And then you know. Also, you can mess with it. mess with the fine tune to get get an extra accent on your snare.
One thing I do notice that that's kind of inconvenient, and before I do that, I'm gonna mess with the semitones within the oscillators before I make this judgment call. Oh yeah, yeah, you, you really can't adjust your your noise oscillator. It's a little more body to it. I'm gonna try out some reverb, see how some reverb will do do any justice to it. Now I'm gonna try out a different tube distortion. Turn down the mix of the snare. I turn down the mix of the reverb. See it dry real quick. Okay, so I get more stamp. So far, it's a, it's a little interesting. It's not blowing me away, but you know. I just changed the, the saturation in the drive to soft, and it does sound soft. And go asymmetrical. To even evenly distri distribute the distortion to both uh, to both sides. Yeah. So far, I like crush. Crush seems to be more or less what I like. Um, I'm gonna try out maybe the digital the digital filter, low pass filter. See if I get anything different out of the tone. One of the cool features about Electrex that I do like in terms of generate an onset tone to your sound is that the fact that you get to kind of dictate you know you have a master eq here to where you can finish uh, polish off anything any of the frequency content that you want i don't want it, a lot of the lower frequency content that the snare is giving off i just want the tone of the sine wave and the noise but I do want the shape of the of the low pass filters cut off to have it a direct effect to the snap.
as you see if I go through the different filters and you see what, uh, what what the difference is in terms of the loudness and how it affects the overall snare snap and all that as you see there you don't even hear the sine wave now because the sine wave is part of the, the lower frequency so you know I, I would have to adjust Adjust it back there for it to get the whole entire sine wave tone. And that's the phaser right there. That's the phaser shape. Let's go cycle acoustic strings. Not appealing at all. Kind of takes the snare out of his element. Now I can actually hear the <laughs> what this uh, what it sounds like without the noise. I'm gonna go and pick some white noise real quick and then I'm gonna turn it up. Turn down the resonance. can pan too so you give it your your snare that you're creating an extra snap but I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of boom so we just I do like the room that that the snare is cutting through is cutting through the lower frequencies a little better than it was before. I probably might even go as far as I guess I'll go way table and go sign. As you know, you can load in samples and stuff like that. So, if I was to go to my D drive and just see, just load up. Uh, I'm gonna see, see. I'm gonna see if I can. I don't know if this is. It's very strict upon Electro Two. Is very strict upon what you load into your uh, your file formats. Yeah, see, there's no PSU info. Should simply tune to make sure. It's just, yes. So it's, yeah, it's, it's a bit iffy.
So the three oscillators do come in handy. Uh, again, you know, you, you it has to be PCM. Uh, you know, the wave file has to be PCM. So it is, it's a bit, it's a, a wee bit picky, especially coming from Windows or whatnot. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Take that sound out. And with the attack to get a different kind of snap to the snare. Okay, what I did, I did a little extra. I, <laughs> I know that might throw a little bit uh, some people off, but what I did was I FM'd, and you know I FM the frequency modulated. I frequency modulated this the f noise into this into the sine wave, which thus gets that tone that that I have right now. Basically about it. I mean, you can go go an extra mile and and add more filters and stuff like that, and kind of play with them. Of course, I'm gonna gauge the I'm gonna gauge crush on that because I, I really like how crush sounds on the other. You can even add a little bit more analog presses to it. modulate between the two of course the ring modulation from the two will kind of inter will interfere with the 808 itself with causing a phase cancellation so that's why you get this right here because they're both both of the, they have like phases that are canceling each other out so that explains that why that's like that and you know
But that's basically about it. I think I took a little bit too long to even show you, you know, a little bit of things. This is some suggestions when you're trying to make some snares and stuff like that using Electra, Electra X or Electra X2. So, yeah. So, if you like this video, you like stuff like this, let me know. Uh, tell me what you want to me to do next, and I will do it. I'm DJ McCree. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Y'all have a great day.